Hi everyone. So I've been guided to do a Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine Energy Reading. Okay, they told me to start off with these. Okay, they said uh, love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this is truth. And this says getting to know each other. Learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. So this is uh, about stepping outside of yourself and possibly responding <laughs> to others in a new way. Not that the way that you've usually showed up has been incredibly like terrible or anything, but there's something here about opening up okay and this is funny because I've heard that song that Sam Hunt song today take your time like three or four times twice on the radio and it, it's kind of an older song and and then like it, it um, my son was playing it on his his phone earlier and then it came up on my phone okay so the other two cards we have here this is like the overall energy of what's going on here so there's another card here that wants to get to know wants to stick out it says love who you are you are a divine and wonderful person deserving of all the wonderful things that life has to offer and there's an eight there so there's something about August or in eight days or something about April 8th yeah and this is 44 I was just gonna say there's something about doubling and then here's 44 which makes eight and then um, I was thinking half of eight is four. It's like a doubling. So it's wild that the, this was 44, but there are no coincidences, <clears throat> at least according to me. Okay. And these are both seven and 27. So those could be significant numbers to you, both of them or one of them. <coughs> seven and 27 are just consistent numbers that uh, show up. A spiritual connection this relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime uh, so I do believe that this is um, you're telepathically communicating okay so there's different um, awarenesses coming about you could be thinking about this person and then like all of a sudden you see their name or maybe they show up on your Facebook or Instagram, you know, on your social media or just things like that. And it's because you're telepathically communicating. And then it says the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. So I'm hearing the word extreme. So there's something about this connection that is extreme or possibly the bringing of it together is extreme okay so one card for divine feminine energy please Woo! all right yeah heartache and I'm hearing that song listen to your heart I feel like divine feminines are really suffering at this moment but it's a healing process it's like letting go of others that have Things that have just been pulling at their their heart, just ripping them to shreds, right? Ripping, ripping this divine energy, divine feminine energy. I feel like there's there's something here about pattern, something happening over and over again. You see how this heart is stitched up a time or two, right? And there's all kinds of like pulled threads within it. Okay, the last three years could have been like really rough. It's like you gave it your all. You gave it your best shot, but it's just like sometimes love just isn't enough. And that's like, I hate that. I Like I hate even saying that because sometimes you have to love people from a distance because being with them is just like, it's, it's like, uh, It's more than not seeing eye to eye. It's it's literally being in two separate worlds, right? 
and that can be heartbreaking because it's like it's like as if one person is healing and the other person is like dude what are you doing like i'm this everything's cool like how it is right now but it's like the other person is like you know there's part there's part of you that's just like it's gut wrenching letting go but where like look it's like this person is in color and so is her heart because whatever has been going on it's like the heart has truly been awakened it's like it's like the heart knows and the heart is being called like pulled forward okay because there is this telepathic communication going on it's like you don't want to hear it you don't want to hear it you wish you hadn't heard it you wish you'd never seen it or felt it because there's something here also about dreams okay within your dream state uh you could be um i'm hearing healing in your dream state it's like it's almost like um I'm hearing there were warriors within the dreams like it's like when you're sleeping that's what it's like you're you're traveling together and spiritual spiritually battling together or separately but the heart is the only thing that's in color here it's, it's like this person is being tortured by staying where they are. They stick out like a sore thumb. Yeah, look, the Empress. This is the, the card that was on the bottom. It wanted to come out, and I pulled it to see what it was. It's, it's the Empress. It's like, yeah, see? The moon, and it's like holding back. This part of you is like, it's, it's, it's torturing you, <laughs> but you were born to shine and the div divine feminine energy is moving forward. I'm hearing come hell or high water. And I'm also hearing another song. Um, I'm going to love you like nobody's loved you. Come rain or come shine. That song is like, is from um, this Nicolas Cage movie with Elizabeth Shue, and he's a drunk. And he ends up like, I mean, I don't want to spoil the movie for you, but they were both from two different worlds, right? But they they fell in love like and she almost like it's almost like she loved him while he was dying you know because he was ultimately killing himself i think it's called leaving las vegas anyway it's a very deep movie it's very moving i haven't watched it in a while but the whole soundtrack is is very moving I, it's one of my favorite soundtracks and um don henley sings that song it's 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 really beautiful all right so let me put this back in before i mess everything up here all right so divine masculine energy opening up for love the observer i'm hearing the observer and and look at this guy he's a smooth cat okay i feel like there's a lot that needs to be said that that is wanting to be said there's something here about roses okay you could also um i'm hearing the word fedora okay but also um you could just wear a hat okay this person could always wear a hat, right? But look, or like even a hat like that. But there's something about messages and wanting to, it, there's something also about wine. This person could like wine or the 
This person could also be younger, okay? There could be an age difference between this, this um, connection here. I'm also hearing that song, that White Horse song by Chris Stapleton. So there's something about, um, you know, look at there's the White Horse, okay? And that song is all about If it's a, it's a, if it's a white horse, whatever, whatever he says, something that you're waiting for, it's like, hold on, girl, I'm I'm not there yet. So this person could be working on themselves or working through some issues, like just working through different. I'm hearing like family dynamics. Okay, this person is watching you. Like I want to fucking cry so bad. Like I'm really holding it back here. Okay, I feel like. The divine feminine energy here, or one or both of you, is, is really putting on a, 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 a brave face here, okay? While the other one watches kind of like in a in a fascination. I, I feel like you're both kind of fascinated with each other, but one is is like really like soldiering up is the words that they gave me. Like just doing what they have to do and moving forward. I feel like Oh my god, this is like really sad. <laughs> because whatever is happening here, it's like there's a whole like phase of of life like shutting down, okay? This is what's allowing you to blossom and to move forward into your empress em emperor energy. And whether you're talking to this person or not, which I don't feel like you are. And even if this is somebody that you already know, but you're just disconnected from or whatever, it's like, uh, by the time you meet each other again, you will, you won't know each other. You'll be completely different people from who you first met. Okay. It's either that or it's, or it's like, this is a completely new person. Just, but I feel like, you know, this person, but you might not have ever like dated this person or you don't really know this person like this is somebody like maybe a friend of a friend or something like that somebody that like um follows you on social media or but it's like a friend of a friend you know like you know like how sometimes you can see what other per people that you follow or are friends with like what they like you know on different pages it's like this person saw you like that or there's something here about this person watching you from afar and wanting to send a message, okay? I feel like this person writes a lot, okay? Somebody writes, either you write or the person you're connecting to writes a lot. And they, I feel like they're, they, they want to send you a message. They want to tell you, but it's like, I don't know, they're just not there yet. They could leave, live near the beach. This is also like the beach, okay? I'm not... Or even, um, I also heard, like, it's sand, like the desert, okay? So the desert or the beach, okay? You know what I'm hearing? Hold on, girl, I'm not, I'm not there yet or something. Yeah, that's from that song. All right, the connecting energy currently. Damn. This is the Two of Cups. Because, yeah, this could be... You could be, you see how there's um, two different races there, right? In the hand, hand locking. So you could be two different races or um, just like, just different, two different cultures, what, whatever, okay? But this is signifying that you both are... It, it's it's union it's like and see the rainbow it's it's you're both it's like you're allowing the universe god whoever whatever word you want to put there to you you're being directed by that it's like you're leading i'm hearing being led by you're leading by example wow the tower All right, divine feminine. Yeah, 
I'm telling you, she's she's just really focused on her finances, okay? Saving money, getting her money right, figuring out her career, saving her money, okay? Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now, okay? I, I, I feel like there's something... Uh, you or your person it could be both of you because look like you you guys are are even if you're separated even if you don't know this person it's like you both are doing the same thing okay it might be like you could be in two different business worlds or whatever but it's like you're doing the same thing like focused on your business or you're creating okay the um the empress being here is also about venus because venus is doing something venus is in aries is that what it is <sighs> so there's like a heavy and it's kind of heavy over here all right i feel like there's a lot of shadow work being done as well okay it, within this receiving mode okay i feel like both of you have kind of been diving deep on where your blocks have been okay uh yeah the the shadow side of you your life your expectations just yeah look for yourself okay see there's something here this energy one or both of you it's like i feel like It's, it's becoming unstuck, right? It's whatever's happening, whatever it is that you're working on, it's like, it's it's stepping into, because this is the Empress, all right? The Divine Feminine is the Empress. It's like completely embodying this energy and taking care of yourself and and, and knowing where you're, you're headed and, and heading there, even if you're not steady on your feet. Okay, but it's it's like no longer being kept, you know, like that um, like that unicorn was within that pin. Okay, here's divine feminine energy or divine masculine. This says wedding. So this situation involves marriage. Wow, look. Okay, this keep an open mind card is here again. This is my S card. Most of you know what that means. Um, and then this back card, look, these two both want to come out. It says, give your relationship a chance and let go of control issues. Work on your partnership. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Yeah, because I feel like as it's moving forward, as you're both moving forward in whatever you do, there's an underlying knowing that... you're headed towards something that's really real. Like there's a realization happening that whatever you've been denying is really fucking real. I don't hear that song. You're gonna lose that girl. You're gonna lose that girl. So, so for, for some of you, I feel like that, that song, so, some, some of you, whoever this is that you're connecting with, it's like you fucked up, right? You know, you fucked up. You, this could be part of this heartbreak of like, just accepting the fact that it's done like this this may this relationship may have completely ended or it's like you lost somebody maybe you were pr previously married or in a connection and that ended okay and it's like you love this person but it's like wherever the person you were connecting with was headed was just like not the same way right and so it's like you had to do what was best for you okay not because you're a mean hateful person but because you deserve to be happy 
and I feel like there's some sort of awareness like that. It's like an understanding uh, whether it was like no words, like because making no choice is a choice, right? If you don't, if you're, if somebody doesn't say anything, it's like that is a decision. They're choosing not to say anything, so it's like okay, so. It's like somebody somebody is moving on, okay? Freeing themselves from that stuck energy, all right? But it's not easy, okay? This could also be why the connection hasn't come together yet, okay? Because there's still healing happening over here. This this There's one side here that's still in this knight energy. It's not a king or it's not the emperor, right? It's, it's still in this knight. So that tells me that it's still in the process of healing. It's still opening up to this love right as as they're healing it's like they know they want to love because whatever they feel something okay i feel like both are being your being pushed and pulled not even pushed and pulled it's it's being guided you're definitely being guided and it's 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 like you can't fight it anymore it's like too exhausting to fight it you know there's some sort of surrenderer, surrendering, surrendering happening now. I feel like this is part of what the the tower is, see? And, and it brings justice. This is Libra. Um, yeah, which is also Venus and the Empress. There's major transformation happening, okay, for both, for you, for your person. All right, the connection energy, wow, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Healing family issues, I told you, that that's, that's exactly what it, it, it feels like, I, because it's not just like the physical family because like I said, like one or both of you could be a part of some sort of family unit unit that's ending or that has ended and it's like just processing and healing and letting go because with everything that's been happening with the planet and, and especially like right now over the next two weeks, we're in this full moon eclipse energy but as we move into like the new... Uh, new moon lunar eclipse right it's like this is like some very powerful potent energy right and it, it's like nothing is being like <laughs> you can't run from what <laughs> from yourself you can't and everything is being shown it's like we're seeing everything this has been a process that's been happening here for a while right but it's like now it's getting down to the nitty-gritty okay it's like the universe is stepping in here and going Look, are you gonna are you gonna look at this? Are you are you gonna look at this or or what are we what are we doing here? You're gonna shit or you're gonna get off the fucking pot, right? Cause talk is cheap. It's time for fucking action here, okay? So I feel like you, as well as your person, are coming to the realization that this is real as fucking rain, right? And it's action time, okay? It's no longer being denied the telepathic communication, okay? The feeling, the the um, the feelings, okay, of the energy. There, it's just not being denied anymore, okay? It's felt. Whether they've openly said that to anybody or you, they know. Both of you, everybody knows for themselves. All right. Divine feminine energy here. Take it easy. Yeah, see, divine feminine is really going through it. I feel like you're both kind of going, really going through it. All right, and 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 really good at at, at keeping game faces on. Okay, you guys are literally one in the same here. Okay, and you would be shocked at at how. And I feel like that's what's kind of also being the awareness is coming to, to that of, of like, 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 fuck, this person is literally me in 
like another potty, right? So, um, but it's like, yeah. Uh, I'm hearing that song, You Set My World on Fire. That song, sorry, I sing off key. Yeah, I am a healer, I'm an anchor of light. There's also that realization of that as well, okay? Many people are stepping into, not many people, okay? I believe like the first 144,000 of us, the souls that are here on earth to help awaken everybody because the planet is going through an awakening, right? We're all rising, okay? And, but there are certain people, myself included, who are here and put into place in, in various positions across the world to be that light, to, to, to tell everybody, hey, it's okay, you're going to be fine, you know, you're just going through a spiritual awakening, yeah, the earth is fucking changing, but it's all a healing process, right? But healing is scary, like, that whole dynamic of robbing Peter to pay Paul, but then the opposite side of keeping up with the Joneses, like all that shit is, is burning away. Okay. Where earth is rising to is to a place of equal give and take. Okay. Where, yeah, like imagine all the people. Okay. That's that John Lennon song, right? Yeah. And the, you know, and the world would be as one, right? So, but it's not like this is going to happen overnight, right? We do the work so our children don't have to suffer as much. And then, it, it's like, um, th this is, this is, this is, this is what's happening, okay? And especially these the connections of love that are coming together, you know, by this healing process for those, those people on the path of true, of like deep healing. Okay. Because I believe all of us are on a path of healing. Some people aren't really aware of it. Okay. And maybe it's not this lifetime that they'll be aware of it. But there are some people out there who are well aware of it and are are going through the process, okay, of of healing. And it's it's when there's some there's a lot of couples coming together here. And it is for the highest good of all. Because their love is an example of true love, right? Okay? And it's healing. They radiate like their energy alone, but together it's like, and how they heal the world, whether they are verbally saying that it's just them showing up. It's like, you know, I always share it's on here about how, you know, I don't, I don't share my issues and the things that I've overcome because like I'm fucking big headed and I want like a pat on the back or something or I want people to think that I'm so great. I share it because I want you to know like I have been a very broken human being. I have been a woman that or a child, a teenager, you know, a, a young adult, an adult. that, you know, someone who's lived my life and experienced the things that I've experienced, people don't expect you to grow up and, and free yourself from things like that, you know? Women like me, or how I've been in my past, end up in a mental institution, stay drunks or drug addicts, you know, arrested, or they kill themselves, okay? Or they they get killed because they're just living that fucking life, right? I say this because it's like, okay, maybe for some of us, it's not easy, 
right? It's not easy to move forward, right? It's like not, not everybody's born, born into privilege and things like that. You know, some people did grow up into a, in a happy home and, and you know, they, they move forward and they can be successful very easy, you know? Others of us have to, you know, battle a lot of demons to quiet our mind first, you know? So I'm a firm believer that, you know, I've been taught some tools that I practiced for a long time. I mean, I'm coming up on 23 years sober, and had I never gone gotten sober, I I never would have experienced the the change that I've undergone. And so, the tools that I've been using all this time, it's like to, it's. I've learned how to be in the moment, okay? Which, honest to God, I I believe has has literally saved my life, right? So it's like these connections are coming together for things like that. Like, it's not that, it's like it, to show you don't have to settle, right? You don't have to just stay where you're at. You do deserve everything. You can achieve anything. Yes. Does it take work? Yes. Okay. Because this kind of connection doesn't get to come together without both sides doing like getting down to the nitty gritty within their souls, right? God doesn't bring people like this together until both of them can handle the other because it's like both are like you can't be a fucking like jealous woman or man and free you know because both of these people are highly sought off sought after and adored okay admired smart okay like there's a lot of healing that has to happen for things like this to come together but things like this are coming together okay and it's like there's even more healing that happens. Like it's it's a healing of, of, of being able to be open for this love, to, to release this hurt from the past so that you allow yourself to actually be loved. Like and that's like a whole nother fucking energy, right? A whole nother learning process, but it's going to be fun, okay? The divine is, is urging you to <laughs> express your love. I do energy healing in dream state. I told you that. I said that already. I feel like both of you have had this awareness. I feel like you may be waking up remembering doing this. My gifts are ra expanding rapid rapidly and this is why it can't no, no longer be denied. Look, I am a healer. Both of you are. You know, I just heard, with great power comes great responsibility. You know, Uncle Ben said that in Spider-Man. Because the kind of power both of you hold within each other, like within yourselves, it's like this kind of power doesn't, like it doesn't just go to anybody like because some people could like if you if it gets into the hands of the wrong person like somebody who is like corrupt and mean and evil like they're not going to do the work required to have this kind of power you know what i'm saying god wouldn't grant it i'm healing and it's painful yeah you're both undergoing like serious change. I feel like things have ended in both your 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 lives. I don't want to run anymore. Yeah, um, through running from you. That's that NF song. Where I mean, that's a pretty deep song. That whole album is like woo, right? And he in that song, he's talking about he's singing it like he's talking about somebody, and which he could be, but. Um, He's also, I, I listen to it in, from the perspective of like, he's talking to his old self. And I feel like that's also a process that's happening here between the two of you. 
Yeah, I'm healing past life trauma. I'm telling you, this is like so deep and beautiful. Okay, that's also what this is. Okay, this is why it's like you guys could be going on like just you could be on a trip or you could be on a vacation. Like I said, like just like kind of laying low, just kind of chillaxing. Okay. Is there anything else here? Okay, one more. My soul yearns for you. Yeah, and it's, I already said that. It's its very evident to me within this card that there's, like, you both are, because we, we both have divine masculine, divine feminine within us, right? And so it's like, it, there is a yearning. Whether you know who this person is or not, it's like you can feel, you can feel it. You can feel them. I'm confronting those around me. Yeah, see, it's like, I feel like there's boundaries being set, okay? Held, okay? If, if somebody's uh, step into you was some kind of fucking nonsense, I feel like there's, because also with this power, you can't, like our words are very powerful, right? Like we can't just like say anything, like, because that shit comes comes about right whatever you give out like you're 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 gonna get it back man that's just the way it works right so it's like you gotta be careful what you say so it's like when people are coming with you with some fucking nonsense i feel like you're undergoing like some sort of like this i'm confronting those around you it's like yeah okay it's like you're learning how to not pop off at your mouth right but still be taking seriously like you know like in that um that story in the uh god damn i forgot the name of the movie but anyway christopher walken is like talking to the kid about you know going out there and playing the pool right the the, the game of pool and and he's like talk telling him the story about the lion right about the lion and how the lion's the king of the fucking jungle right but then you know he's just laying there minding his own business and and uh the hyenas like they're like fucking with them and you know laughing at them and you know the little animals are just like they just keep on fucking with him and and then he lets it slide and he lets it slide and he lets it slide but then like every now and then <laughs> The lion has to like, like, he says something about like the lion like gets up and just like, like just tears them all fucking to shreds, right? Because it's like every now and then the lion has to remind people who the fuck they're dealing with, okay? It's like, yeah, just because I'm like, you know, have this like sleeping, just because you see me sleeping and calm. Or like I've got this beast tame within me doesn't mean that the beast is not still within me, you know. <laughs> like, but there's like this way of um, revealing it that's like shutting people up, okay? Having people look at you more respectfully, okay? Rather than like you know, like those hyenas laughing at the lion, like you know, thinking that he's not going to do anything or thinking that, oh, something must be wrong with them because he hasn't reacted or he's not going to react. But then it's like, okay, you know, I let shit slide because like that shit is, <laughs> is like whack. I don't even talk like that, but that's when it's like, that shit is whack. So it's like, um, I don't care. Like, I don't care. Like, I'm like, so like, I, that I don't care. Like, I don't care about that, you know, but it's like, if you do it, you know, 25 fucking times, all right, like, now it's time to say something, okay? So there's something here about, like, like, no longer repressing the anger, but learning how to work with it and have it come out in a authoritative way, but not a damaging way, <laughs> a life-threatening way, you know? Okay, so it's it's really uh, powerful, and this is something also that's like required amongst both, right? Because it's like it's it, it's about releasing control, and I feel like we have that card, right? 
Look at all these cards coming. Where did, why did, are these cards all here? It's underneath this Twin Flame Soulmate card. This is my, you know, for those of you that don't know, this is my card that, when I got this deck, it came with two Stay Optimistic About Your Love Life cards, okay? And then when, when uh, my person passed away, this the Soulmate card disappeared from this deck. So I made the extra stay optimistic about your soul, about your love life card, the soulmate card, okay, with the S on it, okay? So that's the story. All right, let's see. They told me to get three of these cards. All right, I just saw 40-40 on the clock. So that's more fours. All right. Please don't give up on me. I'm trying to change, but it takes time. That's a five, and that is definitely changed, okay? So it could be frustrating. This is part of what's so heartaching, okay? Because it's like these are also part of the issues that are being worked out, okay? Because, like I said, there's this longing, this yearning. And this is also why there's this game face being put on because it's like, I feel like this really hurts, okay? It, um, I'm hearing timing is everything, okay? So it's just not the right time, okay? Whatever, whatever's happening, it's just not the right time. But I feel like there, this is why the, this like whole game face is on, all right? Because it hurts, it hurts to to feel that to um, or even like there's like this. God, I want to cry again. Loneliness. And such a deep desire to um, be together. In the physical. We incarnated together to clear specific patterns from our ancestral bloodlines. Damn. And that's exactly what the fuck is happening here, okay? You're both working on things so deep that it's creating a better better life for your future generations, okay? Sometimes I feel like you're speaking to me in my head. At times it triggers me because I wonder how much you can see into me. And I just heard everything. But it's, it, it's a two-way street. You both know. And then this says, There are subconscious fears affecting our ability to attract love and abundance. The universe is helping us make them con conscious so we can easily attract what we want, including each other. That's exactly what's happening. And this is why it's so sad. <laughs> not even sad yeah it's it's a longing and look it says my heart is with another right now i have to finish this karmic contract in order to be free exactly and this is this is part of this heartbreak because there's a whole level of like there's a whole side of life that's ending okay and it's like but this has to be healed before you can go on to the next okay and for once it's being healed like neither one of you are acting out like to try and like numb whatever's happening because of what's ending in one life or, you know the awareness of the ending and the awareness of or the awareness of the need for it to end okay so it's like you're dealing with the feelings so you're both dealing with the feelings and you know feelings aren't facts okay <laughs> they're not facts but they still need to be felt so that they can be let go. And that, that's what's happening here, okay? There's, um, you are telepathically communicating. You are both extremely aware of each other and even of your past lives together that may have been re revealed to you in in a dream or in several dreams 
Okay. You could have even been married to each other in other other lifetimes, okay? But this is this is uh this is uh coming together here. Okay? Maybe over I think the wands are three weeks, okay? So there could be some significant changes happening within over the next three weeks, which makes sense because the new moon is after that and it's like the new moon new, new moon brings in the beginning, the um like beginnings, like how to start things new, you know? The the full moon is about releasing and, and that's what's happening now is you're both releasing. Look, the only thing the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. It's like instead of worrying about how or why this is like shouldn't happen or this is impossible, it's just believing in what's to come, you know, seeing that yeah, whatever will be will be and it's just uh Things are balancing out, okay? This has been a full moon in Libra. Okay, so it is also balancing. It's it's coming to terms with our shadow side, okay? It's embracing that. And, and learning how to maneuver within it and use it in, in a positive manner in our lives and to help heal connections as well as this connection there's a lot of healing it's really fucking beautiful work I mean you are a frontliner right we're we're walk, we're the frontliners right we're fucking paving the motherfucking way for those coming behind us you know showing them that it can happen we could do this you know it's really beautiful and I just love I, I love your fearlessness because I, I'm like that too I'm, I and I just love it I, I love you guys you know we're, we're all in this together and um, you know keep hanging in there tough right okay because because we're fucking doing it all right nobody's trying here we're fucking doing it I love you. I hope you have an amazing night, and I will see you soon. Bye.